Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my review and swatches of the Fenty Beauty products that I just got recently. This is already take two na sa review ko guys kasi ginawan ko na to na review and wear test yesterday pero naputol yung wear test ko kasi life happens. And I did not get everything guys kasi if I buy everything, sobrang mahal niya best and hindi ko talaga kaya. So there is something you have to note before I jump in sa review. Yung gumagawa ng Marc Jacobs Beauty and Kat Von D products yun din yung gumagawa ng Fenty Beauty products. So, medyo mataas yung expectation ko sa kanila kasi most of the stuff or the makeup products that I've tried from Marc Jacobs and Kat Von D sobrang amazing talaga. As what I said earlier, guys, I did not buy everything kasi if bibilhin ko lahat, I'm gonna be super duper broke. So, tatlo lang yung binili ko. I bought the foundation, I bought the lip gloss, and I bought one highlighter, yung Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter Duo nila. But I'm gonna give you swatches later. We'll start with the foundation first. So, this is how the packaging looks like it looks really bomb you guys it looks classy it looks really beautiful like sa packaging pa lang, she nailed it Rihanna nailed it and nandito yung name na foundation which is the pro filter soft matte long wear foundation this has a 32 ml or 1.08 fluid ounces of product and yung shade na kinuha ko is 190 I got matched twice yung first kung si Fora na pinuntahan ang sinabi niya 180 warm so nilagay niya dito sa mukha ko and then naglakad-lakad ako dun sa mall and then hindi na ako bumalik kasi sabi ko I'm just gonna think about it first yung next day naman napunta ako sa isang Sephora na pinupuntahan ko talaga which is in Tawson Mall. And then, nung pag-swatch na dito sa mukha ko, 190 daw yung mas bagay sa akin. So, I said, sige, I'm just gonna get the 190 neutral kasi dito naman, if hindi talaga babagay yung shade sa'yo, you can always return it and replace it with yung shade talaga na nagmamatch sa'yo. This is how the foundation bottle looks like. It looks really, really sleek, classy, and very, very simple. Yun talaga yung na-appreciate ko sa line din na isa kasi sobrang simple lang talaga yung packaging nila which is nice kasi hindi siya complicated tingnan. Pero sa totoo lang guys, nag-wish talaga ako na yung packaging sana ng primer nila. Yun sana yung packaging nila sa foundation kasi sobrang ganda ng packaging talaga. Mas gusto ko yung ganun na color. And by the way, speaking of primer, hindi ko kinuha yung primer kasi mattifying primer siya and you guys know I have super duper dry skin so hindi ko rin siya magagamit so hindi ko na lang talaga kinuha yung primer. This has a decent weight to it. It comes in a glass bottle and then when you open it, meron siyang pump. I'm on the website right now. I'm gonna read to you yung claims na foundation na to. So this is good for sensitive, normal, dry combination and oily. So basically, pwede siya sa lahat ng skin type. This has a soft matte finish, long wear foundation with buildable medium to full coverage in a boundary breaking range of shades. And yes, boundary breaking talaga because Rihanna released 40 shades and that's massive. That's amazing. So this Pro Filter Soft Matte Long Wear Foundation gives your skin an instantly smooth, or diffused, shine-free finish that easily builds to medium to full coverage. The oil-free formula is made with climate-adaptive technology that's resistant to sweat and humidity and won't clog pores so that wherever you are, it's going to work on your skin. Best of all, the long wear, light as air textures and detectable to your skin so you will always look like you. Meron silang nirelease na dalawang tools for this foundation. Merong Precision Makeup Sponge, which retails for $16. And meron din silang nirelease na Full Body Foundation Brush 110, which retails for $34. I have already moisturized my face with this, the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Moisturizer. And if bago pa kayo sa channel ko, yung skin type ko, dry super dry. And because I have dry skin and this foundation is a soft matte finish, so kailangan kong maglagay ng primer oil. So today, I'm gonna use my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Oil sa right side lang ng face ko. And on the left side, hindi ako gagamit ng primer. So, ganyan yung consistency ng foundation. If you compare it to other matte foundations, di ba, mas thick and moussey yung mga textures nila. But this one is a bit liquidy. I will apply it on the left side of my face first. And ito yung walang primer. Beep. 
So this is one layer of the foundation. It has given me medium coverage. Nakikita pa talaga yung mga acne scarring ko. And yung mga malalaki kong sunspots, it's still peeking through. But I really like it this way. Kasi kahapon, I tried to build up the coverage. Pero hindi talaga siya na for full coverage. On me lang naman. But if you have flawless skin, of course, full coverage na to sa'yo. Pero if marami kang mga hyperpigmentation and, you know, acne scarring and marami kang tinataka na blemishes sa mukha mo, then this is not full coverage. Lalagyan ko lang ng primer oil itong side na to, guys. I will show you how I blend the foundation using a sponge in case gusto niyo talaga yung sponge ng gamitin. So I do this, ganyan, tapos pounds, drag, pounds, drag it and then pound it onto your skin. Kasi if you just do this, tingnan niyo, hindi siya na blend agad. So, ganun pag apply using a sponge, but I like blending this foundation using a brush. So, ito na lang para mas madali. Right now, okay pa naman yung mukha na foundation, but I have to be honest. Kahapon din, same thing yung nangyari. Hindi siya maganda dito sa nose ko na area. Maybe, yes, I have dry skin kasi. Kung oily skin ka or combo skin, I think baka okay to sa'yo. And then, dito na area kasi nilagyan ko siya na Smashbox Primer Oil. So, hindi pa lumalabas yung mga dry areas ko sa ilong ko. But dito, nakikita niyo ba yan? You know? Meron ng mga dry patches na lumalabas. And... Dito na area na walang primer, mas nakikita yung lines ko compared dito sa my primer. Hindi siya maganda kung meron ka mga peach fuzz or yung maliliit na hair sa mukha mo. Kasi I haven't shaved my face in like 2 weeks na. And ganun yung nakita ko. Parang hindi siya maganda pag mga may facial hairs ka. Yun lang. The rest of the cheeks, okay pa naman siya. Flawless siya. And nag-set na siya into a matte finish. So I'm not gonna powder my whole face today. Before I proceed and do the rest of my makeup, I will discuss lang ng konti or super saglit lang talaga about foundation oxidation. I did my research two nights ago kasi meron talaga nagsasabi sa YouTube na, oh my gosh, nag-oxidize ng bonggang-bongga tong foundation na to. Parang nag yung color talaga after hours of using it. And yes, guys, nangyari sa akin kahapon yun. I really asked Dave. Sabi ko, meron ako nakikita sa mirror. Sabi ko, parang umitim yung mukha ko. And sabi ni Dave, oh my gosh, umitim talaga yung mukha mo. And yes, umitim siya ng mga three to four hours hours of using the foundation, makikita nyo yan later. Oxidation happens when our natural facial oils or yung pH balance ng skin natin nag-re-react siya sa oxides ng foundation na to. Three common ones naman na nakikita natin sa foundation and yun yung reason na nag-oxidize yung foundation. Titanium dioxide, zinc oxide, and iron oxide. Napanood ko lang din sa YouTube to guys. So if you want to check that foundation oxidation na video, I will put it on the description box below. So these are not my words. Nag-quote lang ako dun sa video na yun. So if you want to check that one out, again, I will put it on the description box below. You will actually see the ingredients listing here. And sabi dun sa video, the further down yung mga oxides na yun sa foundation, parang mas low lang yung dosage. Pero kung nasa taas talaga siya or nauna siya, that means mataas yung dosage ng mga ingredient na yun. So dito naman, chinek ko, merong dalawa, titanium dioxide and iron oxides, pero nasa pinakababa sila. Um, I don't know kung mag oxidize din to sa inyo kasi meron din namang nag-review sa YouTube na kung ano yung color paglagay nila sa foundation after hours of using it, hindi nag-oxidize sa kanila. And sa akin lang talaga, nangyari kahapon, medyo umitim siya, like two shades darker and you will see that later. This is called the Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter Duo and they have four shades. And then itong shade na to is Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. And if you are darker than me, like NC35, NC40, Morena ka, get the one. Wait lang ha, andito ko sa website, get the mean money and hasla baby kasi yun, golden yung undertone niya mas maganda siya. This is how the packaging looks like and again, she killed it with the packaging. Every single thing in the collection, you guys, sobrang ganda ng packaging. It's so simple. And itong form na to, parang honeycomb siya. So ganyan siya, merong Fenty Beauty and nandito yung shade name sa likod. It has a mirror and sobrang ganda ng mirror niya and ganito yung colors niya. This is Fire Crystal, yung mas intense na highlighter and this is light Lightning dust, ito yung mas natural na highlighter. Um, unlike your everyday highlighter, Kilowatt keeps skin 
lit beyond sundown with its weightless long wear formula a cream powder hybrid that instantly melts into your skin and blends with almost zero effort another win it's loaded with super fine shimmer for an ultra smooth creamy texture and yes it's true uh totoo naman talaga yung sinabi dito sa website guys it's really loaded with super fine shimmers again as what i always say on my videos depende talaga sa preference niyo yon kasi hindi ibig sabihin guys na meron akong hindi gusto na product that automatically hindi nyo na magugustuhan kasi again, iba-iba yung type natin sa formula and sa akin naman, kung matagal na kayo sa channel ko, gustong-gusto ko yung mga um, subtle highlighter pero pack pa rin siya. Hindi ko ma-explain yung gusto ko talaga, but hindi ko masyadong gusto yung mga may micro shimmers because nag-emphasize talaga siya ng texture sa face ko. This is the subtle one which is called Lightning Dust and I'm gonna swatch it. So, di ba maganda siya? It's very subtle. It's so beautiful. And this one naman, this is your more intense highlighter. And yan, mas intense siya. And this is called Fire Crystal. Ganyan siya. I'm gonna use the more natural side first para makita niyo yung effect niya sa skin. I'm gonna put the intense one here. Ito yung natural looking highlighter. Ito yung intense na highlighter. Obvious talaga yung difference silang dalawa. So, mm, mm, ano nang gagawin ko? Since naglagay na ako ng intense highlighter dyan, lalagyan ko na lang ng intense highlighter dito para maging balance sila. I'm gonna use the more intense side of this highlighter as an eyeshadow. Titingnan natin kung okay ba siya as eyeshadow. So, maglalagay muna ako ng crease color. I'm just using my NARS Laguna bronzer. In fairness, guys, maganda siya na eyeshadow yung ilagay mo sa lid mo. The last thing that I have from the line is this Gloss Balm Universal Lip Luminizer. And... Yung shade na kalagay dito is Fenty Glow. I'm gonna show you the packaging. This is the prettiest, like the prettiest lip gloss I've ever seen in my life. And then when you open it, sobrang laki ng applicator niya. Kasi nakalagay talaga sa website na XXL yung applicator. And it's so true, it's humongous. I'm gonna read to you yung sabi dito sa website, the ultimate gotta have it lip gloss with explosive shine that feels as good as it looks in one universal rose nude shade. I did not expect to love this gloss because you guys know I'm not a gloss wearer. I have like traumatic experiences with glosses before. Kaya hindi talaga ako nag-gloss. Parang ang taki-taki ng mga gloss na natry ko before. And this one is super duper moisturizing, hydrating. It feels so good on the lips and because it smells so delicious. Delicious, like peachy, mango, and vanilla scent. Hindi ko masa stop yung sarili ko, like after parang nag fade siya ng konti. Kasi gloss naman to, hindi siya liquid lipstick, so madali siyang mag fade. Parang ha, saan yung gloss ko, gusto kong ulit ilagay sa lips ko. Kasi ganun siya kasarap. Sarap? Sarap talaga yung term ko. Kasi masarap talaga siya, guys. Na parang if you put it on your lips, talagang gusto mo siyang kainin kasi masarap siya. Universal siya. So that means bagay siya sa lahat ng skin color. So if you're dark, you're white, you're medium skin tone, bagay ito sa lahat ng color. This has like tiny flecks of gold glitters. Pero hindi obnoxious yung glitters niya. And when you put it on your lips, hindi mo naman may feel yung glitters. It's gonna make your lips look plump in... Maganda talaga guys. So that is how it looks like. And yes, it's like a rosy nude color. Hindi talaga siya yung walang color na gloss. But I want to put a lipstick today. Yesterday kasi hindi ako naglagay ng lipstick. Like yung gloss lang talaga. It looks nice on its own. Maganda na siya kahit ito lang yung gamitin mo. But today I'm gonna use this one. Kasi parang similar lang to sa lip color ko talaga. This is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade London. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm seeing right now, but my neck is whiter than my face. So it's now 1.16 in the afternoon. I will take you throughout my day today and I will see you later. Bye! Kung hahawakan ko yung ilong ko because my nose is super duper dry, magaspang siya guys. As in, magaspang talaga siya. And nakikita nyo ba? Hindi siya ganun ka-flawless sa ilong na area. 
I don't know if nakita niyo pero obvious na talaga na mas maputi yung neck ko compared sa mukha ko and yun din yung reaction ni Dave talaga pag sakay ko sa porche sabi niya yun pa rin yung suot mo ngayon yung kahapon sabi niya alam na alam ni Dave talaga yun. sabi niya maitim talaga siya sa mukha mo and yeah I don't know if nakita niyo I hope it's yeah maitim talaga siya compared sa body ko. So, kanina, initial application okay pa. So, 3 hours na yung foundation sa mukha ko. Ganyan na siya. Hello everybody! It's now 4.30 in the afternoon. Huwag kayong magtaka ako. Nag-change ako ng shirt. And yes, nag-change lang ako kasi aalis kami ni Dave. Uh, pupunta kami ng sunflower something-something kasi in-invite kami sa mga kasama niya sa work. Tapos, ano lang to eh, impromptu na lakad. Ganyan yung close-up ng face ko ngayon. Based on my uh, professional opinion. <laughs> well, <laughs> why are you so English? Kung compare sa neko, di ba ma itim, super ma itim. Parang nagtan ka. Oh, di ba parang ako nag beach. Oh, pero oh, 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 oh serious, so atin oh. Parang si. Kami nga hindi katulad nung dating kulay. Oh, da pa. Hello everybody, I'm back. It's now 10:18 in the evening, and this is how my face looks like. Obviously, wala na yung gloss ko, so I'm gonna reapply it right now para makita niyo yung look ng lip gloss na walang lipstick sa ilalim. Okay pa naman yung foundation guys at cheek area, but on my nose, nakikita ko na talaga nawawala na siya. On the sides of my nose, dito sa ilong ko, and on my chin area, nawawala na yung foundation talaga. Hindi na ako magpapaligoy-ligoy pa. I'm gonna tell you straight ko ano yung na-feel ko sa foundation. I really wanted to love this foundation. I've asked my friends kanina, and I've asked Dave, and pareho lang yung sinabi nila talaga na hindi okay yung foundation sa akin. So, mas maganda din yung meron akong natanungan kanina. Eh, totoo talaga guys, yun yung sabi nila na parang hindi daw blooming yung skin ko tingnan. And yes, maybe because this foundation is really designed or meant for oily skin girls. Okay naman siya on some areas sa face ko, like dito sa cheek area, but Overall, I just don't like this foundation. To be honest, guys, I will be returning this foundation tomorrow. I've used it twice and hindi talaga siya okay sa skin ko. I re return ko siya kasi papalitan ko siya ng foundation na bagay talaga sa skin type ko, which is the Georgia Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. So if you have dry skin or textured yung skin mo or parang mature skin, like you have already a lot of lines in your face, I cannot recommend this foundation to you. If you really want to get this foundation because it's super duper hyped up right now and if you really want to try it, make sure you get like two to three shades lighter than your skin tone kasi nag-oxidize talaga siya. Now, let's talk about this highlighter naman, the Kilowatt Highlighter Duo. Um, when it comes to highlighter, guys, it depends on your preference talaga. And ako, mas gusto ko yung mga subtle na highlighter. Ito naman, it's not a bad formula. Meron siyang glitters, yes. So, depende sa sa'yo yan. So, ito lang yung masasabi ko, ha. Para sa akin na yung isa lang yung ginagamit ko parate and minsan ko lang gamitin tong intense, then it's not worth it for the price. You get what I mean? Kung ikaw din, mas mahili ka sa intense highlighter and ayaw mo yung subtle na highlighter, so ito lang yung may enjoy mo and parang half sa pan, yun na yung binabayaran mo, parang hindi siya worth it talaga. But if you are that someone na nai-enjoy yung both formula, yung subtle and then yung intense, then this highlighter is for you. You're gonna enjoy it. You guys know that I am not a gloss wearer, but this gloss is non-sticky, very comfortable sa lips, and it's very, very moisturizing. Pwede mo tong ipatong sa lipstick mo, and pwede mo rin siyang suotin alone. And I really love the scent of this one, na parang gusto ko siyang i-apply over and over and over and over again, kasi sobrang bango niya talaga. I would definitely, definitely recommend this gloss to you, and kung maubos to, i-really purchase ko talaga agad. So that is it for my review and wear test. I hope nakatulong to sa inyo. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And may your brow game be as strong as your coffee today. Love you. Bye! Mm -hmm. I just wanna dance